welcome to another episode of Solve the Logic Puzzle. And we start with a little story of uh, three animals. And first animal, um, if you want, you can guess so what we have here a little part of guess that draw. I think you guessed it. Uh, this is, or this should be, a hair. And now the next one. So, I uh, think this animal had a uh, hard night last night. Okay, this should be a cat. And the last one.
Okay, so uh, some stripes here. So maybe you guess it's an, it's a tiger. Okay, so and the story is that one of the animals always lie, one of the animals always tells the truth, and one of the animals is a 50-50, so sometimes tells the truth and sometimes lies. And your task is to guess who is what. Who is the liar? Who is the one who always said the truth or says the, the truth? And who is the 50-50? And there's one question, and each of them gives an answer. And the question is to all of these guys, who is in the middle? So not the cat, so who is in the middle means the liar, the 50-50, or the one who always tells the truth. Okay. And we start with the hare. The hare says in the middle is the one who always tells the truth. And the cat says in the middle is the one who always lies. And finally the tiger says in the middle is the one who sometimes tells the truth and sometimes lies. The 50-50. And now if you want you can make a little break or pause the video and try uh, to get the solution. Who is sitting where? And then I will give you the answer. Okay, so the liar cannot be in the middle. Why? So, if the cat were the liar, then the cat wouldn't say that the cat is in the middle. Because the cat would always lie. So they would say, sitting left or right. Yes. So the next or I can maybe um, accept uh, the liar. So we have the one who always tells the truth. Or the 50-50. Okay, so and the one who always says the truth uh, cannot be in the middle here because the one in the middle, the cat, said. In the middle is the one who always lies. So, can 
accept. Truth. Because the cat would say, in the middle is the one who always tells the truth. So can't be the one who tells the truth and not the liar. So the only possible is 50-50. So the 50-50 is a cat. And now we can easy solve the rest. So the tiger said, in the middle is the one who sometimes tells the truth and sometimes lies. So, obviously, he tells the truth. And sitting on the right, the one who always says the truth. And left, the hare said, in the middle is the one who always tells the truth. And it isn't. So, he must be the liar. Okay, this is the first part. And now I have another little riddle or logic puzzle. Okay, so I will clean the screen and then we start with the next and now we have um, a network switch and network cables and so um, you have to plug in the cable correctly and you have only one try to guess if a certain cable have to or must be plugged in or not plugged in and there are some conditions I will tell you and then you have to try to uh, solve the riddle. So, and first um, I will use the six cables. We say cable one, cable two, cable three, cable four, cable five, and cable six. And if we come to the conclusion, then um, fill the circle if plugged in and not fill if not plugged in. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, and now we come to the conditions. And the conditions say when it fails. So there is no connectivity unable to establish to the network connection. And these are the conditions. 
conditions for fail. So fail if cable two is plugged in and cable six is. So maybe I will shorten plugged in with PLIN or something like this. So um, totally we have eight conditions. Second condition for fail. So the goal is to connect, so not to fail. This is the goal. Um, cable five. is plugged in and K1 is not plugged in and I think I can isn't right maybe next time so and third condition Cable one is plugged in and also plus cable three or cable four also plugged in. condition cable 4 and cable 6 are plugged in so all conditions uh, are the conditions for a fail yes so maybe uh, if you uh, plug 4 and 6 so there will be a fail. No connectivity. So and condition five neither cable one nor cable two is plugged in. So at least one cable, one or two of the bows here have to fill with the um, filled the circle. And condition six cable two. three is plugged in plugged in also cable four is seven also fail if cable one is plugged in and neither cable three 
Nummer Cable 4 ist plugged in. Okay. So, and last condition for fail is Cable 3. Cable 6 are plugged in, but cable 5 isn't plugged in. Okay, so these are the conditions for fail. And there's one combination. One, two, three, four, five, six. One combination of plugged in or not plugged in where the connectivity works. Okay, and you have the possibility to um, push the pause button and think about it and if you want I tell you now the answer. Okay. Okay, and so Maybe we start with the cable one. And uh, if you look at condition three and condition seven, C3 or C4 is plugged in, or both not plugged in. So, and if we look at condition 7, so if cable or is neither cable 3 nor cable 4 is plugged in, then uh, the connectivity fails if cable 1 is also plugged in. And now look what's happened if three or four plugged in also fail. So it doesn't matter if cable three or cable four is plugged in or not plugged in. Always fail if at the same time cable one is plugged in. So first Solution or the solution for cable one is cable one must not be plugged in. Yes. So we here we ready with cable one not plugged in, and then um, we go here where we find. Um, what's happened when cable one is not plugged in like we have now and there we have the condition two cable five is plugged in and cable one is not plugged in then also fail so we now know that cable one is not plugged in so we also know that cable five must not be plugged in, otherwise there would be a fail. So this was our second condition and we know cable 5 also not plugged in, so I don't fill the circle 
and we know cable 5 is not plugged in. And let's look to another where cable 1 is mentioned. And as you can see, in condition 5, we have neither cable 1 nor cable 2 is plugged in. So we know cable 1 is not plugged in. And if cable 2 would be also not plugged in, then we had a fail. Or we would have a fail. So the only possibility is to plug in cable 2 because of condition 5. Okay. And now we look um, for another where cable 2 is mentioned. And then you find the condition 1. Cable 2 is plugged in, what we have right now, and cable 6 is not plugged in. So we know cable 2 is plugged in, so we have also plugged in cable 6, because otherwise we would have a fail, because of condition 1. more cables left and so now we look and we have here a condition at condition 8 where we know already two states of cable 6 and cable 5 and the condition says cable 3 and cable 6 are plugged in but Cable 5 isn't plugged in. So cable 5 isn't plugged in. Cable 6 is plugged in. So if we would plug in cable 3, then we had again a fail. So cable 3 must be not plugged in. Okay. And now we have another one, cable 4 and cable 6 are plugged in at condition 4. So we know cable 6 is plugged in and if we would plug in also cable 4 then we, have, or we would have a fail. So not allowed to plug in cable 4. And so we have here the right combination. And there's one uh, uh, condition left and we can also check uh, the condition. So cable 2 is plugged in and if cable 3 is plugged in also cable 4 is plugged in. So but cable 3 isn't plugged in, so condition is also true. And we solved the logic puzzle. Okay. So Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a nice time. Bye bye.